happen right now. Oh, well, I don't see. It just don't apply to us. But, dog, it does, though. It does apply to us. And when the go round turns to the get down, who's going to be crying? You're paying $284 a month for insurance for this car. My insurance on this car is 20 bucks a month. And I already paid it for the year. $100. Done. I'm covered. Something happens, they're just going to give me $1,600 in a reback, and I'm out of here. It's done. It's full coverage because it's a new car. It's full coverage because it's a new car, but you're young. But you're young. They're going to charge you for this, bro. The more expensive the car gets, the more expensive the insurance gets. You see what I'm saying? We'll see. And, and here we go. Down to the rebirth and the re-education. My pride costs a little more than $1,800. You would have to explain that to me, CDL Drizzy. What does that mean? Hmm? I'm trying to give y'all, for the young guys that's going to be listening, I'm trying to give you the game, bro. Look at what he's paying. There's no 800. Insurance 280. He's paying a thousand dollars a month for this car. A thousand. A thousand a month to drive this car. And he loves this so much. He see my car and he thinks, oh, I'm gonna joke this dude. This is funny. Look, look at it. Uh, uh, the black guy. What do you say? Three cars under 200. This is the stuff that the experienced cats know. They know this stuff, bro. And you'll go out there and make that type of decision, bro. And now you, I say, dude, you looking crazy. What happens if they lay everybody off? What are you going to do then? What are you going to do? That, thank you. PC Gamer is the only one catching it. Listen, listen to what PC Gamer says. All jokes aside, TB, new truckers out there need to live below their means to pick out here. That's a fact. He says... He must be under his dad's insurance because only 284 for the, that means listen, listen to what PC saying. PC saying his insurance is low. He's saying that's that's low. Y'all saying that's crazy. He's saying he really made out. Because you know, a lot of these cats out here, they'll tell you a lot of things, but they still under their parents, bro. Because when I ask him, how much is your rent, he's he going to give me a number. Ah, oh, man, it ain't that much. Oh, okay. It ain't that much. That means he must live with his father or something. He must live with his daddy. You must live with your father. Because you think that this is a joke. I'm around all these older guys that run the farm down the county. All these cats got beat up cars. All of them do. I say, you don't see how you look foolish? When you pull in here, you the only, there's like three dudes that got cars like that. Y'all don't think y'all look stupid? And I was like, dude, I already, I already did the buy the pickup truck. I got a pickup truck. Paid off with the title to it in my garage, doggy. You ain't got no pickup truck. Right here. It's not brand new, but, you know, I'm older than you. I, I got it when it was hot. So I'm already done. I know, I, know what, I know what you're doing, bro. I'm telling, I'm telling you some real spit. When I was in a position to have this truck, get the title of this truck and be done with it, 
I didn't go buy another car, no, bro. I went and got it cash, baby. You understand? But you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't understand what I'm saying. You think it's funny. It's all a joke. Everything is funny. 1,200 drivers, Texas firm laid off June 24, 2024. You are overly comfortable. So the rookie truck drivers need to listen here. Do not overextend yourself like this, dum dum. I may not have a fancy car that I drive around on a daily basis, bro. But look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, bro. Look at the numbers. I go set my car up. It's nothing. Insurance is nothing. Most of my insurance money is really for the F-150, bro. That's really where it's coming from. But this car, it costs nothing to insure. And see, you know, Phil's here, so he can attest to this. See, there goes Phil. There goes Phil. And y'all have to really understand when you're doing this type of thing, everything means something. The insurance on a minivan compared to a car that's considered a sport model. They're totally different. They're totally different, bro. My insurance is that low because less minivans are in accidents. Less minivans are stolen. Less minivans are up armored and raced. Less minivans are in thefts. Less minivans are in drive-bys. You understand that? But if I was to go get me a, well, go on, name something crazy or something. If I was to go get, if I was to, if my van was an SI, they would charge me more. You understand this? Come on now. I agree, Dupree. And I know this is a hurtful subject because we've touched on a bunch of times and I touch on a lot of times because you got you to hear me. You have to hear me. Let me take some of these trucking companies, man. They're not hiring, man. My ears to the street. I know people who, who, who deal with recruiters. I know people who are recruiter companies. You understand that? I talk to people who do the work from home recruiter thing. I have friends that do that shit. That's a good Tesla with the flux capacitor. Forget about it. Right. Podcast. Just go get the Texan with the flux. I can't afford it. But I, you understand, I know these ladies that do the, I recruit from my house and there's a whole bunch of companies they recruit for. They're denying y'all, bro. You think I don't, I see it, bro. They're denying you. It ain't that easy to jump jobs like it was back in the day. It's not that easy. So to speak with the, no one has changed their rhetoric to match what's actually going down with a rubber meet the road. Where the rubber meets the road is companies are not calling y'all back. They're not calling y'all back. What they're doing is they corporatizing the situation. That whole you've been to three companies thing, you might as well stay at your company. You're done. You cooked. It's over for you. It's over for you. 
being at more, I'm going to say this and I want you to understand it because this is how it came out of the horse's mouth. Being at three, jumping from three companies is worse than having an accident on your NVR now. It's over, bro. You better look at your trucking job and appreciate it because you cannot just jump jobs that easily. Not like you think it's going to be. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.